What's up guys, Rose Air Production here and today we're going to be talking about shooting music videos handheld. Yes, handheld. That means no Ronin M, no Ronin MX, no Ronin S, no Zhiyun Cranes, no Glide Cam. I can't think of any other ones off the top of my head, but you get the point. Okay, let's take a step back here. We're not talking about taking gimbals out of the picture completely, but let's talk about the art of handheld movements within your music videos and the pros of handheld movements. Okay, so one of my favorite techniques for shooting music videos is actually shooting handheld and getting that really cool shaky effect. So what I will do to achieve this is I will turn all my in-body stabilization on my camera off. And even if your lens has a stabilization built into it, I would even turn that off as well. So making your footage look very raw looking while also doing like a controlled shaky type movement. These are by far my favorite shots to get from music videos. I feel that shaky handheld shots are key for music videos because it adds an easy filler to use throughout your music video edit, especially if the music video is very upbeat and there's just a lot going on and the artist is um, very energetic in front of the camera, handheld shots will be your best friend. Now let's put the energetic shots to the side for a second. Another really good shot that you can achieve with handheld that's really easy to do is close up face shots. So anything that has to do with just shooting a close up of someone's face or the side of their face, if somebody is maybe on the phone talking, you can just capture a very clean slow motion face shot. B-roll shots will be easier than ever to achieve of props or even slow motion shots of the artist um, doing something in front of the camera. Now this is a good example that's also pretty relatable, I'm sure to most viewers. Um, people who shoot trap videos, let's say there's just money all over the table, there's booze, there's uh, maybe somebody rolling up a spliff or something. It's really easy to just take your camera handheld and focus in on the money, take a quick panic shot of the money, move to the booze, get the shot of the booze, so on and so forth. It's just really simple to catch things that are happening in the moment, whereas with a gimbal, you are almost like telling people to stop doing what they're doing a lot of the times if you're trying to get like a controlled shot. And I feel that the majority of people that shoot music videos are for the most part very run and gun. People aren't trying to do a very controlled shoot, they just want the party scenes, they want the energetic shots, they want the flex, so you just need to capture everything in the moment and that's where handheld shots will definitely come into play. Now another pro for shooting handheld on music video sets, especially for b-roll shooting, is just getting a smooth panning motion while shooting your handheld shots. So, if you're shooting a prop, rather than just pointing the camera at the prop and just sitting there, shooting in slow motion, not really too much going on. So I felt that it's a lot more cinematic looking if you just put your two hands on the camera, steady your elbows into your ribs, into your body, and start slowly panning the camera back and forth from your prop. Maybe do about like two or three takes really quick, shooting in like 60 FPS or a higher frame rate, like 120 FPS. And this will just achieve for a more cinematic shot, I feel. And it's just a super simple shot to get when you're shooting handheld, especially for a run and gun situation. Now let's say you have a day long shoot and you're getting a lot of Ronin shots. That can have a lot of strain on your body, especially for some people who aren't used to using gimbals. It's a lot of strain on your shoulders, your upper back, your lower back, even in your trap area here. I feel that shooting more handheld or mixing it up, going from like two performance scenes with a gimbal, then taking the camera off the gimbal and getting two handheld shots just gives you a little bit of a break. I know some people might be laughing at me. Maybe you're jacked and you can hold the gimbal all day long. I mean, I can hold the gimbal all day long. I'm pretty strong, but now keep in mind that shooting handheld is also very compact. Let's say you don't own a gimbal or uh, maybe you can't bring a backpack with you to put your Ronin S or Zune Crane into the side pocket or side pouch of. You know, shooting handheld is very compact. You know, it's not bulky. You're not holding a big rig and maybe you're shooting in public and you don't want much attention while you're shooting. It's a little more low key, especially if you're shooting off a small DSLR like a GH5 or a Lumix S1, Sony a7 III. And not only that, but maybe some venues or areas that you're shooting at won't allow you to be operating a gimbal in. Maybe it's like a live performance or something, which I wouldn't recommend using a gimbal for, but maybe you don't have access to a gimbal for a specific shoot if you're shooting an artist performing live and you're stuck with handheld. Um, it's just easier to maneuver around crowds or simply if you're shooting in a public space and you just don't want that attention while you're shooting, handheld is the way to go. Now, if you're wondering what focal lengths to use for handheld shots, any focal length can work. In my opinion, I love using a wide angle for my handheld shots. I personally use the Tokina 11-20mm 2.8 lens. I feel like the wide angle shots of a handheld, especially when you turn the in-body stabilizations off on your camera if it does have that, can definitely give you a very raw looking shot and 
uh, more of like a retro type shot if there's a lot of people in a scene and it's very hype that's when i will definitely pull out my wide angle or if i'm simply in a space that is very small that doesn't really require a gimbal because maybe the gimbal is too big and bulky for such a small confined space mid-range shots i personally like to use a 35 millimeter focal length or a 50 millimeter prime focal length but honestly my favorite handheld shots ever are when i'm handheld with 35 millimeter and i'm moving the camera to the beat of the song and to the vibe of the artist in front of the camera and i love adding just a simple little uh, a keyframe so when you're editing in post you can keyframe in so it zooms in for you while you're doing the cool handheld scenes and i'll lay over a couple shots right here um, i just feel that it just the keyframing plus the movement of the handheld just looks so clean now for long range shots i'm talking like a 50 to 100 millimeter sigma lens or a canon 70 to 200 these are really great handheld options if you're looking for just a very compressed shot a layover shot here that mario visions and i captured on a set and we were using the Sigma 50 to 100. We were quite a ways away from the artist when we were shooting punched in all the way at 100 mils, but the shots just looked really nice because they're just so compressed and they just looked amazing at 100 mil handheld. And again, we're just vibing to the artist's movements and the song as a whole. So let's say you're just starting to shoot music videos and maybe you don't have the video equipment. You don't need a gimbal to shoot music videos. A lot of my music videos, I'm talking like 70% of my music video shoots are shot handheld guys. I don't really use my gimbal that much unless the shot calls for it. And that using a gimbal will increase the production value and the look. Otherwise, I shoot a lot of handheld stuff. Um, I've just gotten really comfortable shooting handheld. I've got comfortable with um, what lenses to use for certain situations handheld. I just feel that some of my cleanest shots I've ever taken in video, even outside of music video, have been shot handheld. Now I wanted to mention another cheaper alternative to bettering your music video edits. So my entire online store right now is 50% off and one of the products that we're offering on our online store is actually every single 4K video file plus the mastered version of the audio for a music video set. You may have actually even seen the behind the scenes of how I shot this music video with Bonfice for his single Self Made. So I'm actually offering every single 4K raw file from this music video set plus the mastered version of the audio so you guys can actually practice editing music videos all on your own without having to even shoot the footage. Had to toss a plug in there, let's get right back into this video. Shooting handheld video will help you become a better manual focus shooter. Shooting manual focus for video is definitely more intermediate However, it will just better you as a videographer as a whole. Now I'll probably make a separate video on manual focus in music videos, but I'm gonna give you guys a little rundown here. When you're getting those super shaky handheld shots in autofocus, there's a really good chance that the autofocus will start to hunt. So it'll maybe try to pick up things behind the artist or your subject, and then it'll pull focus back to the artist and it'll keep doing that. That's something you kind of want to avoid when you're shooting your handheld shots, especially for performance scenes. So I would just personally rather shoot in manual focus. Yes, it's a little more effort, but you don't have any stress in the back of your mind of um, the thought of your camera autofocus hunting. Not only that, but if you're in a scenario where you are shooting very run and gun, and let's say you're outdoors and it's super dark out, it's really difficult for your camera to be picking up that autofocus when it's a little darker out and you're not perfectly exposed. So just keep that in mind. Um, I always recommend to practice shooting in manual focus, even if you're shooting off a Canon 1DX Mark II, which has amazing autofocus. I just like to keep everything in manual focus. I shoot off a Lumix S1. I also used to shoot off a Lumix GH5 and I even used to shoot off a Lumix GH4, all of which I never used autofocus for. The autofocus on all three of those cameras just really sucks. So I was kind of forced into shooting manual focus from my early stages of shooting video, but honestly, it has just made me a way better videographer in the long run. Another pro to shooting handheld for your music videos is you can add attachments to your camera. Now one attachment that you can add to your camera when shooting handheld is the Prism Lens FX. This is an amazing product where you can actually add an attachment arm to the bottom of your camera or maybe anywhere on a small rig um, camera cage and then you can actually attach different types of prisms onto the end of the arm which in turn will give you really cool camera effects. And because you're shooting handheld, it's really easy to just grip the camera body or the lens and you can adjust your prism in front of the lens and then just go back to shooting. If you guys have ever thought about investing in a prism kit or a prism lens FX kit, I do have a promo code actually, I'll leave the link in the description, ROLLZ10, 10% off of your entire prism lens FX card. All right, so my final tip here for shooting handheld on your music video sets is 
Well, let's use the Lumix GH5 here as an example because the in-body stabilization on this camera is by far the best in-body stabilization system on any camera body on the market right now. I remember once on a music video set, we were shooting all day and my gimbal batteries were completely dead. They died on me for like the last performance scene. So I took the camera off of the gimbal and I was shooting off the Lumix GH5. I tossed a wide angle lens on the camera, zoomed all the way out at 11 mil and I got beautiful handheld smooth shots. I just turned the in-body stabilization on the camera on and I was just very slowly moving back and forth in and out from the artist. I was even giving it like a little bit of a twist, kind of like the DJI Ronin S, how you can make it like barrel roll, but I was just getting really clean handheld shots. Again, just keeping my elbows pegged to my body and I'm just moving in and out really, really smoothly and just let the in-body stabilization do the rest of the work. As long as you are, you know, walking from heel to toe and you're being really careful and cautious while you're shooting, obviously handheld, and you're actually trying to get a really smooth shot, then you can actually pull off really smooth shots just shooting handheld. All right guys, so that's it for my tips and tricks videos on shooting handheld on your music video sets. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and let me know if you guys also love shooting handheld on your music video sets. And if you guys don't subscribe to this channel, consider doing so as I post a lot of really cool filmmaking tips and tricks videos, as well as very in-depth behind the scenes videos while I'm on my film sets. So with all that being said, guys, thanks again for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.